I don't know, some, some equation that goes around the, the shape and creates all the triangles that define the, the egg. I will do it very in a very complicated way, and then I will realize that there is a much easier way of doing it. <laughs> I, I tend to start uh, you know, doing things much more complicated <laughs> than is really needed. <laughs> but I don't know, that maybe says something about it. Uh, I was doing this research uh, about protein folding, which is kind of a the study of, of, uh, of these uh, protein molecules from a computational perspective. Now, try to understand how these, these protein molecules, how they fold in three, dim in three, in three dimensions. Now, they, they start as an unfold, and, and, and I really wanted to, to make graphics or, or images of, of these molecules I was working with. So um, I, 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 I learned how to use all these ribbon algorithms to make this kind of representation of these molecules that look really nice. And that was, you know, like, like uh, people, you know, write tutorials about this stuff and, and they, they figure out ways of, of you know, ma making things that you didn't imagine how, how uh, that were possible. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, you really incredible, like, to see how these chains of, of, uh, of, of, of knowledge, as you, you know something, you create something at a certain, with, with, with a certain, you know, understanding of things, and then someone takes it and maybe in a different direction and does something else that you didn't imagine at the beginning. So. Uh, that's that's something that is really amazing about um, working in this community with code, yes. And we've been talking a lot about uh, like steps, no? Like like one one establishes one step, and then maybe someone else puts another piece on it, and then you kind of reach higher, but by by virtue of all these combined efforts. So uh, even if you look, if you read like research that people are doing now, they are trying to make DNA-based computers. They solve, uh, actually, algorithmic problems using DNA pieces, because by, by taking advantage of how DNA re recombines, and in, 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 a, in a test tube, you, can, you have billions of DNA molecules recombining very quickly. By using that the, the property, the chemical property of DNA, you can actually solve these kind of, these classical problems, the, 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 what is it, the, cell, the, the salesman, the traveling salesman problem. So they, they show that, yeah, you just put, you know, a bunch of DNA in this, this test tube, and then you'll get, you know, <laughs> the optimal path. <laughs> so it's a difference, uh, there are also differences, right? I think that the biological systems are much more flexible and fuzzy than, than there's some, some sort of rigidity in, in computer systems that's difficult. I mean, you, you can simulate flexibility. You, you can simulate flexibility with computers, but it's kind of hard in principle. They are designed more for, for being kind of very, uh, uh, you know, very precise, right? So, so you can simulate, Flexibility with this very precise system, but it takes uh, effort. It's, it's like we need to think how we can, uh, you know, think of a completely different uh, 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 computing system based on, on a kind of a more uh, malleable, a more you know, kind of fuzzy kind of uh, logic. No, <laughs> so but you don't think at you, you look at probabilities. Everything is kind of a probabilistic. It's fuzzy in the sense that nothing is like s uh, sure for certain. It's like you, you define things in, in, in terms of probability. Things could happen, but a certain probability. So there is a kind of that concept is embedded into the into into probability theory. You know, th things are, are are not deterministic, but but um, probabilistic. So I'm sure, so from a more conceptual point of view, this idea of fuzziness, no, that maybe maybe it's difficult. You know, especially when we deal with complex systems, right? With bi in biology, uh, we have uh, a huge number of variables, and things are never clear cut, never 100% determined. It's, it's, it's all concept of probabilities, and, and, and with all these probabilities kind of coming together, things things still work, <laughs> uh, but you have room for 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 kind of uh, variation. So I think, well, this this idea of uh, uh, having a set of rules, but it's a set of rules that generates something that is, uh, uh, that is uh, flexible. No? The, these, these rules are very determined, but at the same time generate something that, is, uh, that, 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 that has this, uh, this, feeling, that, this feeling, right? Of, uh, levels, uh, you can see, look at it at different levels. Maybe that's one way of... I, I, something that, that depending on how, how far you are to it, you, you can really uh, uh, see, see very uh, different type of details. And um, because in a way, if you move away from this, for example, when you're talking about these generative systems, maybe if you look uh, from, from a certain distance, they, they, you might simplify it as a, 
you know, as, as a number of branches. But then when you get closer, you see all this porous substance, right? So it's, it's also a matter of, of your distance to it, I think. It's, it's, I, 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 I don't know exactly how to deal with it, you know, because on, on one hand, you want to, to reach this visual complexity that, that is beautiful, no? but at the same time, you want to show things clearly. So there is a, there is a kind of a, there is a kind of a tension or a conf conflict. No, you, you want to show complex things, but at the same time, you want to see the structure. And it's also this question of distance, right? I mean, maybe uh, you want at the same time to have all these levels together in a way. I mean, you want to understand the story, but you also want to see the, the, all the nuances of it. And you know, connected together. And those individual relationships between pairs of variables become the elements of, of this larger structure, kind of a, a more like a model that, that brings things together. So, so you have kind of the, the, the individual variables and, 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 uh, at kind of the end of the spectrum, then you have this cluster of variables that, that kind of explain at least certain uh, certain patterns, and then I guess you want to be able to go to the farthest level in which you can see, um, in which you want to put all these variables together at the same time, at the same time, and really understand the ent entirely of the, the model. But I think that's actually too complex <laughs> to actually do it. We can explain all the process. If we are able to explain from these elementary binary interactions to, you know, larger modular interactions to larger larger we could say well we could go to the farther i mean to far to to uh, you know the 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 higher level which with the entire person although we have this concept conception understanding we cannot do that because there's just way too many uh, uh modules interacting together that even though we can imagine that there is this this overall picture is is a, is a human being we cannot really uh model it at least computationally so <laughs> things don't look as beautiful as they could look in, in a research paper, you know? Like it's like, because there is, there is, a, there is a conflict with, with actually the, the, you know, the, the goal of the scientist is, okay, I want, to, this, I want to, get, to get this result out, I want to publish this, this paper, so uh, there is no much focus or, or so much interest in, in making something that is aesthetically more, uh, beautiful. I, I just want to represent this uh, at the minimum level that I need to, so it, I can convey the, 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 the message. No? And, and not only to say, well, we just want to make this more, uh, just prettier. I mean, because we just want to have, you know, nicer figures or, or, or just nicer looking tools. But I think that there is also, I think, I think it's like this idea, like in mathematics, like the, uh, you, typically, the, 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 you know, the equations that are correct are also beautiful. So, at the day, uh, just a couple of days ago, this research group, they were able to, to, to um, see how uh, this uh, molecule, actually, how the, 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 the chemical bond between two atoms breaks and the molecule rearranges. And they show the molecule before and after. And it, it was, uh, I know, uh, but it really looked like these, uh, you know, these uh, pictures from these chemistry books where you have these kind of hexagonal, you know, structures like uh, uh, with the double bonds, and it looked really like that. It was, um, uh, that was uh, a little uncanny to see that it looks so similar to, to this kind of uh, very schematic representations. So it, it can be really a powerful lens and it can have a really a, a very powerful magnifying capacity. Just uh, because you can really, it can really allow, allow allow you to freeze things. I mean, things that would be experimentally very difficult or impossible to uh, really observe. You can, you know, you can computationally dis dissect like a per period of just you know, a fraction of a second and making it, making it, you know, uh, you know, very detailed. No, in, in that sense, I think the computational lens gives you uh, this almost infinite resolution. No in time and space, but it's also, it's, it, what you get from this infinite resolution is as good as the, the model is that you're using to kind of uh, uh, do the computations, no? So, so uh, and you might say, oh, this is amazing. I mean, this is like, uh, you know, I, uh, I see all this movement, I see all these things, but are just, uh, you know, might be interesting by themselves as, a, as a, some sort of mathematical, or some, you know, artifact of an algorithm but they don't translate into, into reality, right? So...